What's going on guys and welcome to another Gran Turismo Sport discussion video um, and today I'm going to be talking about how GT Sport is, will be adding in the next couple of weeks or sometime in December of this year anyway so you know um, not very long within four weeks I'd say they're going to be adding this GT League mode which is basically a proper campaign mode for the game that we've seen in pretty much every previous Gran Turismo game. Now I want to give a shout out to Born15 once again I always shout him out in these videos because I I found most of my information on this game from his videos, um, I'll give a shout out to him, um, check out his video, link will be in the description where he talks about uh, basically all the stuff I'm going to talk about here today, I'd say he probably goes into a bit more detail than I'm going to go into, um, so if you want to see it in more detail then please go to the description below, check out born 15s video, subscribe to him, He's just he makes really good content and yeah go and check him out. So basically my main issue with Grand Turismo Sport is that it doesn't have a proper career mode. I'm not a massive online racer, especially when it comes to esports and stuff, which is what Grand Turismo Sport is really going for. It is not my sort of thing. Um, so when they announced that for Grand Turismo Sport, I just thought, well, there's no point in me getting it because I'm not going to really get much out of it. However, they have now obviously been listening to their fans um, and they have decided to add a campaign mode and I'm so happy about that. It means that I am going to pick up the game now, definitely. I'm probably going to wait until the campaign mode comes out. Um, I know that the game will, I think it's about 50% off on the PlayStation Store over like Black Friday, which is basically today as I'm recording this over the weekend until Monday, I think. Um, so we could get it then, however, I prefer to get hard copies of games. Um, so I'll see how much it is in hard copy. Um, you know, as an actual disc, I just prefer games on disc, but I'll see how much it is, you know, maybe some of my stores around me might have some Black Friday deals going on, I don't know, but um, yeah, basically I'm really excited and I will be getting uh, Gran Turismo Sport probably before the end of the year, maybe I'll even get it for Christmas, I don't know, but basically they're going to be adding a bunch of these campaign modes, which is called the GT League, now we can see here we have Beginner League, Amateur League, Professional League, and Endurance League, pretty much like we've seen in previous Gran Turismo games, um, you kind of move up as you go. The next screenshot we see a bunch of the different kind of race series in the Beginner League, um, you know, plenty of different things. You've got the Sunday Cup, which is something that, um, you know, it's something that's always been in Gran Turismo. I, you pretty much always have a Sunday Cup, um, and it's really nice to see that coming back. We have the Boxer Spirit Race Series, I guess this is. Um, pretty nice looking. We have the Clubman Cup, which is also another thing that you, you know, we, we have Clubman Cup all the time in Gran Turismo. It's just, it's just a thing that needs to be there. It's just a cool little kind of championship thing. And then we have the FF Challenge, uh, which is, you know, just uh, front engine, front wheel drive cars. Also pretty damn cool. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy that they're doing this. It really does change the game for me. You know, there is still the issue where there aren't many tracks in the game, and that is a big issue, I think. Um, having so little track, so little locations in the game is an issue, however I think I probably will pick up the game now after this comes out. They also said in this post um, on the PlayStation kind of blog website, they were talking about new cars coming December 2017, so I'm guessing these cars are going to be coming out around about or if not at the same time as the campaign mode. They, uh, they said that there will be 12 cars coming in the free update, remember this is a free update, we've got the Mazda RX-7 Spirit R Type A, the Nissan Skyline GTR V uh, Spec 2 R32, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2 NUR R34, really glad to see the R34 come into the game, um, there was only really the Nissan GTR, like you know the R35 in the game, that's all that's in the game really, as a, a kind of a Skyline sort of thing. So it's really good to see the R32 and definitely the R34 coming into the game. We also have the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor, Lamborghini Countach LP400, Ferrari F40, Enzo Ferrari, the KTM Crossbow R, the Suzuki Swift Sport, the Volkswagen Samba Bus Type 2, the Chris Holstrom Concepts 1967 Chevy Nova, and the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible C3. So that's 12 cars, all of them look pretty interesting. It's great that they're going to be adding cars um, for free and adding content for free. Um, so that is really good. Then they go on to say that from now to March 2018, a total of approximately 50 cars are already planned for addition to the game. So I'm guessing that's that 12 that we just saw, plus another, you know, another, what is that, 38 cars? Um, so that is that is crazy. That is really, really good. Um, 50 cars up until March, all for free, as far as I can tell. That is really, really good. And then it says the updates will continue beyond March with more cars, more tracks, 
and all that great stuff. So um, that is a little bit of a video, that guys, talking about what they're adding in the uh, in the December update for Grand Schmo Sport. I will be picking up the game after this GT League thing comes out. I want to see what it's like first. It looks really good. I'm excited, and I'll probably, I will, I'll definitely be picking up the game before the end of this year. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoy it, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.